The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, has issued a seven-day ultimatum to the federal government to disclose details of $5 billion recovered from a former military head of state, Sani Abacha. SERAP said it has sent two Freedom of Information requests to the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning and the Attorney General of the Federation to determine the exact amount of public funds stolen and how much has been recovered since 1999. According to SERAP, failure by the federal government to provide the information requested will show signs of inconsist inconsistency and accountability to the public. Joining us via telephone is David Ugolo, Executive Director, African Network for Environment and Economic Justice. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you very much. All right. Um, the matter of the retrieval of the Abatalut seems never ending, even more than um, 18 years on. What makes um, us think we will succeed in holding the presidency accountable for a process that began before its tenure? The first um, challenge is that it's part of transparency for government to transparent and accountable to be. And I believe very strongly that once there is no asset citizens are bound to the government. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, the line seems to be breaking. Could you repeat a bit what you said? I, I was saying that once citizens don't have access to information, it brings a lot of distrust and that's not good for any government. So, I think that citizens should have access to information, whether it is about how it spent or recovered from public officials. I think government is bound to be transparent about it. Okay. Why is it important to obtain the exact figure as to the amount of loot we're dealing with? Uh, what will NGOs like Serap do with such information? Well, if you don't know the amount, you will not be able to understand when government makes a claim how the money is spent. So it is in the interest of government to be transparent with the amount that is recovered. And that's the reason why I support a database for asset recovery. Thank you.